Around the Ozarks, a longtime beloved business owner in the Ozarks is calling it quits. Color 10's Crystal Blair spoke to that owner and she joins us live in Branson with more. Crystal, good evening. Good evening, Heather and David. I'll tell you, I spoke with the owner of BNL Outdoor Power Equipment, and he tells me that there are several factors that went into him making the decision to retire. But you can believe being hit by severe storms on more than one occasion played a big role in that decision. You have reached BNL Outdoor Power. Due to Father Time and Mother Nature. BNL closed its doors for the last time on Tuesday, June 4th. That's a message from Larry Verasca, owner of BNL Outdoor Power Equipment in Hollister for more than 30 years. His store is now closed after being hit by severe storms more than once. We had figured out the flood. We figured out how to handle that. Um, but then when this came along, it was like, really? <laughs> it's almost like you can't believe that could happen. I've had some other stuff happen, uh, some health stuff happen. So. I just figure it's time to, you know, get a good opportunity to, to do it. A tough decision to make. You know, it's kind of surprising. Um, you find out really how many people know you, you know, um, and you make a lot of good friends over the years. And all may not be lost for BNL. We're told that people are stepping up to the plate that want to take the helm. Yeah, I've got prospective people now that want it. Um, and, and they know that the community needs it. That's, that's why. Like today, my mower is broke down, something minor, and he can fix it real quick. So when he's not here, I'm going to have to run to Springfield. This is where I've been buying all my parts for my lawn mowers and stuff, and uh, I sure hate to see him go out. We leave you with heavy hearts, but with an optimistic outlook on the future. Thanks for the opportunity to serve you for the past 30 years. Best wishes and no messages, please. Now, Baraska tells me that even though they closed the store officially on June the 4th, there were some customers who had repairs already set up, and he is working with those customers to take care of those. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. Quite the legacy sounds like there. All right, Crystal, thanks. And coming up in.